let's differentiate between XRD and XRF. Both techniques are useful to characterize any material. XRD stands for X-ray diffractions, while XRF stands for X-ray fluorescence. There is only difference here. In this case, we have diffraction and here we have fluorescence. Diffraction basically means bending. It works on the basis of bending here, bending of X-rays. But fluorescence, when you see the word fluorescence, this basically means emission. And emission of what? Emission of light. In this case, we have X-ray, right? So let's get started. Very important comparison. Very, very helpful. XRD basically gives the information about the mineralogy. Mineralogy basically means minerals, rocks, like the oxide material, titania. You see this look compound here. You see this is a rock like, like you see here the NaCl. It gives us the information about the sodium chloride. While XR basically analyzes the chemistry. It gives us about the information about the single element like that, the electronic configurations, the K shell, the L shell, the MN. So those information we get from XRF analysis. XRD basically identify phases here, phases, I'll explain many times. This is one phase of calcium and this is another. Calcium hydroxide is another. This is basically phase. You see here. So phase mean basically that, let, 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 for example, cube is a one phase of uh, titania and tetragonal is another phase of uh, titania. This means phase here. You see here, tetragonal is another phase. While XR basically give the chemical compositions. Chemical, let's talk about the chemical. You see here like iron, like the lead basically, its compositions, like the cobalt, like the copper, like the cobalt, you see here, like that. You see here. So XRD basically analyze compound, like I explained, compound, while here uh, XRF analyze elements here, you see. For example, calcium carbonate, calcium hydroxide, and perhaps some other calcium phases, and XRF will only tell about the calcium here, and the concentration here, you see here, the quantitatively, like, like the percent here, that what is the basically the percent of calcium here in that sample. Similarly, iron phases like the iron oxide, iron carbide, but XRF will only tell about the concentration of iron. But here the XRD will tell about the phases, you see here the compounds. So this was the basically uh, differences uh, about the uh, XRF and XRD.